How do you get him off his video games? How do you tell him there's an end to the space? What do you do when the dude's just a flat out moron? Welcome to Ask Mark number five zero. Thank you so much for supporting the channel so far. It's been amazing and I'm wearing my fave player's shirt to celebrate Ask Mark number 50. I'm also sporting the scruffy look. May or may not have left my clippers at work, but you know what? We're sticking with it. Join the Facebook group if you haven't already. We've got some great discussions going on over there and get your tickets. Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne, New York, LA, Miami. Description, link, it's all there below. Let's get into this week's questions. I can't believe it's 50. Isn't that, that's, I'm, I'm psyched. I'm psyched for 50 and the question I've chosen to head up number 50 is from Nikki Young who says, Mark, I am pretty good at having my own life thanks to your teachings, which is just music to my ears, Nikki. Thank you. Amazing. But I do need more of his attention when we are physically together. What should I do if my boyfriend invites me over and then he starts playing video games? I tried to mess things up uh, and he did let me have a, goo a few goes, but I couldn't even control the character, which happens to the best of us. Uh, so he would quickly take the controller back. What is this? Ugh. We had a good laugh at my poor performance. Okay, that's good. But I want more quality time, help me. Okay, Nikki, I'm gonna make this, this very, very simple. First of all, kudos for giving it a go. Okay, you're obviously not a gamer. You were open-minded to his thing. You gave it a roll. Kudos for that. I think it's always a good thing when you meet someone with separate interests, when you date someone with separate interests, to give those things a go. You never know what you might learn. You never know how you might grow. But once you've done that, and you're like, no, you know what? This isn't for me. Do not sit there accepting. It's great that he has hobbies. Good for him. He should have some me time. But if you're just dating and he's invited you over to his house for a date, the me time is not the time for the video games. Okay, it's the time for him to do things with you, to pay attention to you. So don't sit there and tolerate it. You can literally say, okay, this is really boring. See if he responds. Hopefully he gets the message. If he doesn't, you upgrade to, okay, this is really boring, so I think I'm gonna go home. Hopefully then he gets his shit together and it basically says to him, hey, your video games are not for when I'm around. If it's a partner, okay, you're gonna have to put up with it a little bit more. The guy you're living with is going to play video games if that's his hobby. But that's where you talk to him and you have your own couple time separate from that. But don't sit next to him if you don't like the video games. Do, if, you're with, if you're with him, living with him, do your own thing, use that time to you do you and get your hobbies and, and kick butt in your own life, spend time with your friends. Don't sit next to him when you don't like it. But Nikki, you don't live with him. You don't have to tolerate this. Tell him you're bored. Tell him if he's gonna keep doing it, you're gonna go do something else and then go do something else. Don't be, yeah, the more you sit there, the more you're saying, hey, I accept this, this is, this is us. This is okay to be us. Nah. Second question is from 122 Scorpio. It says, if he is not updated through the space period and he has not made any contact, how do I tell him I'm done with him? Okay, so as I spoke about in the what to do when he says he needs space video, when a guy asks for space, it's not necessarily a reason to immediately dump him but it's also not a reason to sit around forever just waiting for him to make up his mind. Think of it like a timer starting. And when that timer runs out, it's like, nah, no more, I'm gonna meet my needs now. We are done. You sound like you're at that point. So here's what you do. Very simple. Give him a call. If he doesn't pick up, which is most likely from a single call, Say, hey, something I need to talk to you about as soon as you can. Give me a call when you're free. Don't wanna have this chat over text. Give him 24 to 48 hours to call you back. If he doesn't call back, call him once more. And if he doesn't pick up that, do it via text message. Hey, so I didn't really wanna do this via text, but haven't been able to get through with you. Look, I can't really keep, keep going in this situation the way it is, so just wanted to let you know I'm done with this. Um, thank you so much for everything. I'm still really grateful for it. You know, all the best in the future. That's it. Done. Problem solved. Question three is from 96. Me, 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 me. Says, I haven't had sex in a long time. And then I started dating some guy. 
Uh, God knows how hard it took me to restrain myself till the third day to sleep with him. And he was insisting to sleep with him on the first date. Uh, the phrase, I don't mind if a girl sleeps with me on the first date, I'd still care for her. After our sex on the third date, his question was, are you doing that with every guy? I mean, sleeping with them so soon. This is just so retarded, I don't even know what to say. It's, your, the response would literally be an internal eye roll, this look at him, And then you're like, dude, I'm out. You just some guys are beyond saving. This is one of those guys. Question four is from Jacqueline, uh, and Jacqueline says, "Hey Mark, I'm so in love with this guy, but recently he started ignoring me. Uh, okay, and he responds sometimes, sometimes don't. And what's worse is I told him that I love him after all this ignoring started." You're quite right, Jacqueline. That's not ideal. And he is like, um, I'm not ready for commitments. Okay, we are good friends. Good friends who ignore each other, apparently. But sure, let's go on. And so sometimes he ignores if I try to talk more. What should I do? Should I chase him or let him go? I'm confused. Jacqueline, yourself out there. The most valuable thing you have to offer a man. The thing that men value most that you bring to their life that no other woman can bring is your love. It's very simple. Don't keep throwing it at people who are not reciprocating it. And that is Ask Mark number 50. Wow, thank you so much. Start of the year, we started filming these and it's become a really, really cool segment. You have contributed in just such a beautiful way. And I'm so very thankful for it. Let's get to 100 by, ne by this time next year. Why not? Thank you. Keep sending in those questions. It, it seriously means so much to me that you contribute to the channel, that you've supported me through this. You know, Hopefully, I'm going to get to meet you in person soon. If not, hopefully a little bit down the line. Tickets in the description, as I said. But yeah, I just want to say a big thank you. It's Christmas time. I'm in an extremely grateful state at the moment. I've got such a wonderful client base happening and it's all thanks to you. And just a like, a comment on the video. These things all make a difference. It helps with the ranking, which means more people see the videos, the message spreads. And yeah, I really can't thank you enough for just being a part of my channel. So Merry Christmas to you. Happy holidays if that's your thing. Thank you so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up and hit the big red subscribe button with the bell as you always do. Mwah! And I shall see you again in Ask Mark next week. Night, night.